In order to help a student put a language onto the rotor so that they can switch between languages as needed, you first have to go to settings. Over. Settings. Two new settings. Inside settings, we're going to choose accessibility. Accessibility. Button. Inside accessibility, we're going to choose voiceover. Vision. Heading. Settings. Back button. Vision. Voiceover. On. Within voiceover, we have several options where we're going to go, but we're going to go to speech first. Spe speaking rate. Speaking speaking rate. Speaking rate. 70. Speech. Button. Now, it did say speaking rate. I don't want to confuse anyone that's, you know, following just what... Um, Voiceover saying it's the one next to that which says speech. I'm gonna tap that. Voice, Samantha, button. All right, so there's a couple things I do in here. I do have, um, it says automatically detect. Button. Pitch, heading, pitch, 40%, pitch change, uh, detect languages, on. There it is, detect languages, and I have that turned on. And uh, this will sometimes automatically switch to the language needed if um i find this works you know on web pages it probably have the right markup on them and that works but you need to do a little more than that um, for using this in the classroom with your assignments so we're going to go over to voiceover was rotor languages heading add new language um oh, rotor languages heading rotor languages and we're going to select add new language which is to the right of that add new language button english south africa all right, and it has a whole list here of languages. They are alphabetical. Catalan, Spain, Chinese, Ch so Ch Chinese, Ch 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 gonna go Do Finna, French, Belgian, Galician, Spain, German, Greek, Hebrew, way down here to Spanish, Malay, Malaysia, Marathi, Norwegian, Persian, Iraq, Polish, Poland, Spanish, Portuguese, 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 Romanian, Romanian, Russian, 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 Chinese, Chinese, Slovak, Slovakia, Slovenian, Slo Spanish, Argentina. Okay, here we are. So we have Argentina, Spanish, Chile, Spanish, Colombia, Chile, I'm Spanish, gonna, Mexico. I'm gonna go with the Spanish. Spanish, Spain. Spain. All right, so I'm going to double tap there. Voice, Samantha, button. When you tap that, it takes you back to the main speech settings mode. And um, if you wanted to, you can go into where it selected that it Pitch added. Change. You'll notice. Detect language. Voiceover will switch voices when text in another. Um, language. Spanish, Spain, Monica, button. Now it has that listed where it used to say, just say, um, Rotor languages. Now it lists that as one of them. And if we tap on that, Spanish, Spain, heading. It has different voices that we can use. Eloquence. We button. could use the eloquence voice. Jorge, button. Marisol, button. Can you see these? Selected. Monica, button. Others. I'm gonna leave it. It automatically selected Monica, um, and uh, I'm gonna leave it on that. So now I need to go back. I've set this in the speech. I've got to go do one more change here on to get to this added to our rotor. Speech. Back button. So voiceover. We're gonna go Spanish, back Spain, to voiceover. Monica, voiceover. Back button. Accessibility. Speech. Button. Voiceover. On. Accessibility. Back button. Speaking rate. Seventy percent. And with in voiceover, we're back in the main voiceover menu now. We're going to go down toward the bottom. You'll find one that says rotor. There's one that says rotor action. That's not the one you want. We want the one that just says rotor. Verbosity. Audio. Command. Act. Ro rotor actions. Rotor. Button. Okay. Here's rotor. I'm going to double tap here. Selected. Characters. All right. And this shows all the options of what you can put onto your rotor to have quick access to them. And... If the boxes are checked, then those are the ones that are included. So, for example, I have characters checked. Reorder character. Selected. Words. I have words checked. Reorder. Selected. Lines. Lines. And language is way down on this list. Selected. Visited links. Reorder. Vis non. Reorder non. Buttons. Reorder button. Select. Reorder. Selected. Search field. Reorders. Images. Reorder. In static. Reorder. Sta zoom. Reorders. Same. Reorder. Same. Like. Vertic. Reorder. Vertical. Nav. Sound. Reorder. Sounds. We're button. There. Handwriting. Reorder. Ha audio ducking. Reorder. Selected. Braille screen input. Reorder braille screen selected. Text selection. Reorder typing mode. Reorder selected. Language. Damn. Okay, there it is. It's way down there. And I already have it selected because I had this enabled earlier. Um, so if you want the language to be included on the rotor, you would double tap there if yours wasn't selected. And then that would add that to the rotor. So once you've added it to your rotor, we can go out of this. We could go back to our home page or we can back out of these settings or you know wherever we're going to work. But to activate the rotor, you use your thumb and forefinger and you turn them in a um, 
turning motion, like you're turning a knob. So you've got your thumb and your forefinger touching the screen at the same time and you twist your hand. Um, you twist those fingers and that's gonna bring up the rotor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna twist Sounds. my rotor. Characters. I turn clockwise, you actually can turn either direction. So the first option I could do is characters. Words. Twisting again, I get words. Speaking rate. Speaking again, I get speaking rate. Headings. Language. Default. Okay, and I twist it, and now I'm at language. If I want to change the language, I swipe up with one finger. You can also swipe down, but it's a motion. I'm going to swipe up with one finger. Espanol, España. And now it offers that I could be in Espanol if I wanted to swipe up again. English. U.S. Default. I'd be back to the English option. Espanol, España. I swiped up again. I got back to Spanish. So now that I've selected Spanish, if I go anywhere on my iPad or my iPhone, everything will be read using that Spanish. Now, it's important to note, it doesn't translate English to Spanish. It would have to be reading Spanish text for it to read it correctly. It doesn't translate um, from language to language. That would be a different app. All right, I hope that helps. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my screen share, hopefully. Oh shoot, I'm in Spanish, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's saying. So let me switch back to English. I'm gonna go to my rotor. Characters. That's kind of funny. Words. Speaking rate. Headings. Language. Okay, there's my language. I'm swiping up. English. U.S. There's my English. Flashlight. Selected. Focus. Do not disc volume. 100 per brightness. Se vol select flashlight. Camera. Button. Selected. Screen recording. <laughs> I think I'll leave that on because that's kind of funny of why you might need to be able to switch between the languages. Have a good day. I hope this helps.